Okay, so my weekly tip this week is do not dodge the best, most effective upper body exercise that you can do in the whole planet, and that is pull-ups, of course. It tones and strengthens your shoulders, your arms, your back, and your core. It builds muscle mass, which increases metabolism, blah, blah, blah. The list are, uh, of benefits are endless. So don't dodge it. Um, and everyone can do these. So a lot of people believe that they can't, but you can do it. Um, so there's three steps um, to make your way of being able to do pull-ups. So step one is to firstly remove can't from your vocab. Step one, remove it. Don't want to hear it, take it out, because you can. Step two is to make sure you do a proper warm-up, which you can see Kirsten's using the foam roller to get a bit of anti-kyphotic bend. So that'll loosen things up through the thoracic. Mary's doing some dynamic stretches. You can fire up some shoulder stabilizing muscle with external rotation holds, like I'm doing. And I really recommend reverse shrugs, which I'll show you from here. You can hold on. So you can see I'm really trying to roll the shoulders back and down, bring the scapula in, increase the distance from my ears and shoulders, and really make sure I'm locked in through those shoulders. And I try and maintain that with every move that I do. So I'm going to show you five different levels of progression. We're going to start at the easier end and build up to you being able to do full unassisted pull-ups. So Kirsten, you're going to start with, actually we're going to start with Mary. She's going to start with level one, which is, is an isometric pull-up. So you can do this on a horizontal bar at the top or a lower one, which Mary's using. And all she's doing is she's actually just holding that upright row. She's holding it for five to 20 seconds. Beautiful, Mary. She's got those shoulders tucked back. That's good. She's activated her glutes. If she was more horizontal, it would be more, a bit more about the back. But the fact that she's got her glutes on that horizontal bar is good. So lock it in, five to 20 seconds. We'll do two or three sets. A couple of times a week is our recommended recommendation. Level two, a little bit harder. This is an inverted row. So you're using some sort of horizontal bar or if you've got a suspension trainer like we have. So this time we're actually bending the elbows and Kirsten's bringing her chest up to the bar, retracting the shoulder blades, drawing the core on. Beautiful. So that's level two. Level three, back to you, Mary. So this is an eccentric pull-up. So Mary's gonna jump up as high as she can, and then she's gonna let herself go down hideously slowly. So really slow, working that eccentric phase. Back, nice. See that retraction? I love it. So that's level three. They're hard, they're really good to build up to full pull-ups. Level four. So Kirsten's gonna hop into our band for assistance. So you can anchor it from your knee or your foot. And so this is helping her and she's recruiting all the same muscles that she's gonna do when she does her pull up. That's it. Make sure she breathes out, have a look at these shoulder blades. Pull it in. That's it. And her chest is coming up to the bar. And just to keep things interesting, I'm going to do a mixed group. And there you have it, five push-up pull-ups, five different versions of pull-ups. You can do this, start at whatever level is appropriate for your ability and try and commit to it two to three times a week and you will get there. Believe in yourself. Thanks girls. Good job, Dan.